Warren Buffett, America's second richest man, is a household name. His 57-year-old son, Howard, not so much. And yet, he's the person Warren Buffett wants to succeed him as chairman of Berkshire Hathaway, the mega holding company that Buffett built that owns everything from insurance to ice cream, with its stock trading at over $100,000 a share. Well, we wanted to find out what are his son's qualifications for the job. For most of his adult life, Howard, the middle of Buffett's three children, has been a corn and soybean farmer in Nebraska and Illinois. When he's not up on his tractor, he spends his time using his farming skills and his father's money to help alleviate world hunger. Like his dad, Howard does not live the high life. Unlike his dad, he loves getting down in the dirt. The story will continue in a moment. This is the man who'll become the next chairman of the company acquiring, investment picking, money making machine Berkshire Hathaway if Warren Buffett has his way. Howard is a farmer who would rather dig up the ground and drive big machines than sit in a boardroom. Were you stunned? Were you surprised? I, I was surprised. But no sign that he's about to leave. Uh, he won't leave until uh, he's buried in the ground. I hate to put it that way. This is no yeah, gentleman I, I farmer. Howard Buffett here. works his 1,500 acres in Pena, Illinois himself. We're going to go pick some corn? Yeah, we're going to pick corn. This year, he harvested 87,000 bushels of corn with his 300 horsepower combine that he runs hands-free off GPS. You're like a kid, you know, who can it's, ride his bike without it's, his hands, right? It's a big toy, it's a big but it's toy. expensive. But with corn prices soaring, he can afford it. And incidentally, even a farmer named Buffett can get farm subsidies. Howard received $300,000 in federal payments over 13 years. Here's something you said once. Here's a quote. It seemed nothing I could do would be as successful as what he did, meaning dad. That comment would mean that in, in the world's eyes, you know, I would never be seen in the same success as, as he would, particularly in investing and in business. That's okay. I mean, you know, and, 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 and my mom and dad always made it clear that that was okay. There's no sense trying to compete with me because he's, he's not going to play my game. He should have his own game. That grain shipments were done a lot last week. Warren Buffett says he always told Howard to find something he loved as much as he loved making money. Naturally, I have a lot of top secret stuff, but we'll kind well, of keep that between you us. You always do. <laughs> <laughs> So you're all business. I think of you as Mr. Indoors, working on it. numbers, I got it. So here you have this son. I know. He's a farmer, he's outdoors, he's down in the dirt. Are you sure he's your son? Well, I think that's worth checking out. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have a big exclusive. <laughs> well, he is really different, explain that. Well, he likes not only farming, he likes machinery too. I mean, I think he, he likes doing big, big things, you know, moving dirt, and he just is happiest when he's when he's working hard, I'm happy as well. I'm just kind of sitting around watching football. Howard's different in another way. He's an active, hands-on philanthropist who visits up to 20 countries a year. The Howard G. Buffett Foundation focuses on world hunger, spending $50 million a year on projects like feeding programs in Ethiopia and agriculture education in Afghanistan. And he records it all through the lens of his own camera. You all of a sudden begin to kind of look around and you notice there's a lot of people around that don't look too good. And, you know, they're hungry and they don't have great living quarters. They don't have, they may not have access to water. They don't have good sanitation. You were seeing farmers who couldn't feed themselves? Oh, absolutely. I looked at that and I thought, you know, this, this is wrong. I understand agriculture. I should be able to do something about this. <laughs> In places like El Salvador, he's funding a training program for 5,000 poor farmers like Carla and Edwin Trujillo. They learn new planting and fertilizing techniques to improve the quality of their corn and red beans. Carla, I'm Howard. Hola, mucho gusto. Yeah, buenos dias. We tagged along as Howard inspected their six-acre plot in the tiny village of San Juan El Espino. She's got an irrigation system. No big combines here. 
and their irrigation? It consists of hoses connected to a barrel of water brought in by a horse. Howard wanted to check on the quality of Carla's corn. Does she mind? Tell her I, I won't destroy her corn crop. And that meant doing his favorite thing. You're going to dig it up? Yeah. Come on. He didn't just dig up her corn. He was like a doctor doing an invasive exam, pulling up the roots, ripping it open. They always have tough husks in this part of the world. And cracking it in half. His verdict? You've done an excellent job with what you've got. Since Howard's program started, Carla has doubled her income. In one way, at least, he is like his dad. He insists that the farmers learn accounting and managing credit and that they buy their own seed. They're looking for the standard kernels. Howard Buffett is making a big difference, but on a small scale. He started out giving farmers the best of modern agricultural technology. But now he only teaches methods they can afford themselves after his projects end. Howard's passion for farming started early. When he was just five, he turned the family backyard into a cornfield. His father was fast becoming a multimillionaire, but the family always lived modestly. Did you know as a kid that you were rich? No, not at all. And, and, and the greatest story is my sister, uh, who, when you had to go around the room in, in uh, grade school and, and answer, what does your father do? And, you know, we knew him as a security analyst, and we had no idea what that really meant. And so she, she basically said, well, he's a security guard. And that's what we thought for a long time. We just didn't know any differently, you know. As his father's fame and fortune grew, Howard seemed to zig and zag on his own path, dropping out of three colleges, one after the next. You must have been worried. I wasn't. Sorry. You weren't? No, I wasn't. He just was kind of finding what he wanted to do. And so and it, got, it made no difference to me whether he found it in a college or not. Mm -hmm. Really? Now, yeah. you, that is an unusual parent. It is an unusual parent, and, and, but it was the way that his, the, both his mother and I felt. None of our kids graduated from college. Now, if they pool all their credits, we can get a degree. I mean, I thought, <laughs> I thought we ought to do One that and pass her out. Once Howard settled on farming, Warren bought land for him, but then made his son pay rent and tied it to his body weight. So if you gain weight, your rent goes up, and if you lose weight, the rent goes down. It's something like something that. Like yeah. Financial incentives are supposed to work in some things. They don't work very well in weight, incidentally. But why wouldn't you just give your son a farm? Well, I, I just don't think that's the, you know, the, the way to bring up a son. I mean, I don't, think, I don't think he's entitled to be given a farm just because his last name is Buffett. We didn't want them to see the world you know, through, through the lens of a super rich kid that got everything he wanted. You just didn't want spoiled little rich kids. Yeah. Yeah. Warren Buffett was famously unwilling to give his money away to charity. I'm turning it over to you. And, and, so it and came and as a big surprise five years ago when he donated the vast bulk of his fortune, some $31 billion, to the Gates Foundation. It's a, a big challenge uh, for us to make sure that this money gets used in the right way. But Bill Gates is often described as Warren's third son. They vacation together, spend birthdays together. So the size of his gift to Gates left an impression that the Buffett children were given short shrift. Warren Buffett doesn't believe in inherited wealth. I don't believe in, in, in lots of inherited wealth. I haven't been spending my life trying to figure out how to transfer wealth and not have taxes and all of that so there can be a dynasty of all kinds of little Buffetts going around for hundreds <laughs> of years, never having to do anything. But don't cry for those little Buffetts. Howard, his brother Peter, and sister Susan have gotten multi-million dollar gifts of money and Berkshire Hathaway stock from their parents. So while he's not on the Fortune 500, Howard is by any measure a wealthy man. On top of the outright gifts, each Buffett child is getting a billion dollars to go toward their philanthropy. But all that pales next to the 31 billion that's going to the Gates Foundation. So did you know as far back as you can remember that you were not going to inherit his money? You know, the yeah, bulk of it. Yeah. You, you've sort of always known that as you yeah, were growing up. Yeah. And from time to time, that was a little frustrating. Because <laughs> you wanted it, or what do you mean? Well, I just mean, you know, you, you, you feel like that there are a lot of things you could do if you had more money. Yeah. And I think that way even in the foundation. But here's the irony. Bill Gates is spending a huge chunk of Warren Buffett's money 
on poor farmers in Africa, giving them hybrid seeds and synthetic fertilizers. It's exactly the kind of high-tech approach Howard tried and now feels is doomed to fail with farmers who make barely a dollar a day. They're pushing a system that really is similar to what we have outside this door. But doesn't, isn't that wonderful? No. What I would argue is that at some point those guys are going to go home and the money's going to not be there. It's exactly the same thing we did. And I don't feel it worked. Well, you know Bill Gates. Have you said to him, 80% of what you're throwing down there in Africa is not going to work? Well, I've said it a little differently, I think. And that is that we need to quit thinking about trying to do it like we do it in America. Howie's the farmer here, uh, so he can speak with knowledge. I'm the city boy on the panel. Bill Gates uh, and Howard yeah, Buffett were them. both honored recently <laughs> at the State Department for their work on combating world hunger, work underwritten in both cases by the largesse of Warren Buffett. So your father gives all his money to Gates. You come out and tell us what he's doing is all wrong. I'm not saying it's all wrong. Well, a lot of it's wrong. A little bit of sibling rivalry there, no, maybe? No, I, You know, that's why we call him Brother Bill. But, but, but Exactly. No, I, you know what? Bill Gates is the smartest guy in the world next to my dad, baby. I better say that if I'm on tape. How old are you? I'm You're... 81, but I feel good. Yeah, you look great. <laughs> Warren Buffett says if the Berkshire Hathaway board approves his son as chairman after he dies, Howard would not be paid and would not run the company day to day. Howard would be what Warren calls the guardian of the culture. What were you worried about? Well, you worry that, that somebody will be in charge of Berkshire that, that uses it as their own sandbox in some way, that, that changes the way that... Uh, decisions are made in, in reference to the shareholders or and some, you know, that, the odds of that happening are very, very, very low. But having Howie there adds just one extra layer of protection. I guess uh, someone who's on the outside looking in would say, but what does he know about this business? Oh, he knows plenty about the business. Does he? In the sense of the values of the business, sure, sure. I mean, he doesn't know what insurance policy we're writing today or, you know, or how many carloads of the, the BNSF carried last week or something, but he knows the values of it. Besides, Howard is the only one of Buffett's children who has been a corporate executive in agribusiness and the only one who has ever served on the Berkshire board. Let me just make sure I understand you. You will not be picking investments. Absolutely not. And I shouldn't. I mean, you know. Do you have concerns about taking over this big role? Well, as long as I can keep farming, I'm okay. <laughs> but, but... And as long as he can keep funding projects in remote regions of the world, where, as well, we found, he is still working on becoming uh, a household sure. name. What did you know about Howard Buffett before? Had you ever heard of him? No, that's not what I eat. Never heard of him? Nada, nada. <laughs> had you ever heard of his father? He has a very famous father, Warren Buffett. Had you ever heard of him? See? Oh, <laughs> I've been <impressed. laughs>